Um, I am checking out the uh, GeForce Now. So uh, if you if you're willing to put in your credit card information, you can join. There's a free trial. I don't. I honestly didn't read the, the uh, terms of service. It's uh, it's like 90 days, I think, because it, it said it wouldn't actually charge until May something. So um, I don't know. It seems cool so far, but I think the what's shitty about it already is like you can add the games you already own, but you have to manually, as it says. You know, do you own this game? The first time you play, you'll be asked to sign into the account. So I'm, I'm assuming that means the Steam account, since there's obviously no, you know, account needed for these Wolfenstein games. Um, I don't know why I'm doing. I'm just dicking around mostly. Uh, I'm not going to play any of these games I'm adding right now, obviously, because uh, I've already played them, and uh, I own like all these games. I'm just looking at what it has. I, I don't really know how it works, so I guess there's like featured games that you don't have to own. I guess I'll check it out. Uh, I have all of this. I don't. Yeah, I either have all this or I have no interest in playing it at all. <laughs> or I have it and I don't have any interest in playing it, so that's why I'm not playing it already. Uh, what game don't I own? Size Genesis. No, I. Sure, why not? You just fucking told me it was a featured game. Why would I own the game if it was featured? Come on, buddy. Much console, very well. Yeah, whatever. I don't understand, like... Maybe it just shows featured games. Oh, that's... F Yeah, this is my Steam account. Good luck hacking it. I don't even know the password. <laughs> I'll fuck off with this fucking multi-factor authentication bullshit. Can I just use my fucking Steam authenticator? Bro, you are wasting my time right now. Why, why have a fucking soft token if it literally doesn't even, like, <laughs> am I the crazy one? This isn't even the right email account. Now it's, it's going to be like, oh, you don't own this game. Can you do something? What the fuck? Um, no, I'm not buying this. Uh, I want to exit, please. You quit the game, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, like I didn't know that. Send feedback. Your system is confusing. One star. Would have given it zero, but I can't. This is featured. Um, okay, I guess I'll just search a young boy since I know for sure that one's on here. What's the difference? No, I don't fucking own this game.
What in the fuck? Uh, okay, so I guess I gotta Google and find out why this is like utterly useless. That is my email address. Email it if you want. Don't care. Uh, <laughs> I assure you, if you do, I, I won't see it because there's already 40,000 emails in there. Bruh. Explain to me how this works. No. What the shit? I feel like they made this needlessly confusing. Why am I, like... So you have to own a game already. Very confusing. And, and there's, there's also no option to link your account that I see. I'm not impressed. Like, what? I really don't understand what the point of this is. If you have to own the games to stream them, then, like, what's the point? So, let me buy a game and then let me stream it instead of using my own computer that. You know, I spent all this money to build so that I can play that game. I, just, I don't get it. I literally don't get it. <laughs> now nah, I feel stupid. Okay, so it's it's nothing like uh, Stadia or or whatever. So the I guess the entire point of this is it's an alternative to Steam streaming. Okay, well let's I guess we'll just fucking try it out. Kind of retarded. I, I am definitely going to cancel my subscription. <laughs> I hope I don't have to put in another security code.
so like that one comment or whatever was saying you know it's going to depend on your internet access uh, so if your internet sucks then there's there's ultimately no point just like there will be no point in using uh, PS Now or Google Stadia or Steam for that matter I mean the, the Steam streaming kind of can't even handle it. Um, what the fuck? You know I have this game, right? I literally am signed in. What the shit? So you, what do you just like launch this from the Steam interface? Oh my god. Why don't they have a tutorial that explains how the fuck this works? Okay, so that's just, that's honestly really stupid. You like so you're telling me I have to install this to a remote computer? And it goes slower than my own internet. What in the fuck? So let me take you through how it works. So if you have got um, a way to access GeForce Now, if it's in beta or, or if it's come out by now, then you log in, you link your uh, Steam account. So you log in with your Steam account. Obviously, it's not going to give you all these games for free. So it will stream any game which is available on Steam or even on Epic Store, but it will not, if you don't own the game, that, that's something you have to do. So it's games you own. So you go to a uh, library. You click on a game. So I want to play, for example, Dying Light, a game I played recently. So I'll play a game. I could potentially show you even what Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Final Fantasy XV look like as well. Um, so if I click play game, uh, what you can do as well, I'll take you through after I show you Dying Light. I'll show you the different settings that GeForce Now has as well. Okay, so what it's doing now is it's loading the game. It's um, going to establish a network connection to the GeForce Now server, and then it's going to play it completely remotely. So this is the GeForce Now server. It's a very powerful machine. Like it's using, last time I checked, some t a Tesla graphics card, which is worth like... I don't know. It, you know, the machine might be powerful, but I'm not impressed with the actual network speed because literally my internet is faster than this. Um, it, does it normally go this fast? No, because Steam is terrible um, and Comcast is also terrible. So even though mine would be downloading at twice the speed of this, this server, ideally uh, it would probably never happen. And I know it's not my internet because if I go on Battle.net or Origin or, or basically any other client that isn't Epic Game Store or Steam, it uses my full bandwidth. I don't know what the deal is. And at this point, like, I honestly give up trying. I, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I mean, I'm getting ripped off either way, so it doesn't make a difference. You, you have no choice. Like, you can pay to get ripped off for a little bit of speed or you can pay to get ripped off for a lot of speed and then coincidentally you might actually get a lot of speed or you could you know you'll have like a middle ground the server background or i, I want to say the server desktop so this is kind of like an rdc i guess just to a server where it has steam and that would explain why you have to log in obviously because you're you're logging it's like you're logging into a different machine every time Oh my god, this is painful. And yes, I am that spoiled. First war problem first world problems, right? <laughs> Awful. Awful download speed. 
it's funny what you're willing to put up with. Like 20 years ago, you would be saying the same thing if it was going like one kilobyte per second. You'd be like, this is terrible. <laughs> and now you're like, I pay for fucking twice the speed. Okay, so now you got to deal with the same stupid Steam issues, but on a different computer where it takes forever. So I wonder, they they didn't really put anything in the description that applies to old games because they say, you, should, you know, you can turn on ray tracing. Okay, cool. But what about like super ultra mega graphics um, with hair works on ultra and stuff like that? To be like to be perfectly honest, so far I don't see any difference uh, from doing this on my own computer. It, it really would have been faster if I just installed Witcher Three and started playing it. I wonder if you can actually change the... What in the shit? Why does this look so... There's gotta be a way to actually change... Oh, holy shit, can you... Oh, that's fucking badass. It lets you... It uses your Steam Cloud saves. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's a definitely a, a positive. Just gonna start a new game. Um, why? why? Why do you need to simulate a Witcher 2 save when I have one? I never understood that. Are you fucking joking right now? Game not completed this save? Even though the save I just clicked is exactly the same one? I feel like it definitely runs smoother than my computer. Not to mention unreasonable. Go and of all the women I've known. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. I I just wanna laugh at something here really quick. Um She acts like, with all the women you've known. Uh, what am I... Can you not... I guess not. Um... Did I not get the item? Oh, it's because it's on default controls, that's why. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Or you could get it yourself. You're a fucking sorceress. I'm pretty sure you can do it. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries.
Where is the, where is it? Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion, you should know that. Well, whatever. The, the funny part is, there's a key to Yennefer's room here somewhere. Shit. Fountain Pass is beautiful as ever. And it's a, it says common item on it. Uh, you know, it's it's like a a five year old meme. Whatever. So I like how it it gives you your inventory, but you you can't even access it. Like, Oh, that's why. Maybe that's why I'm walking because I'm over encumbered. Skip this. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Series. Says she prefers practice to theory. Mm -hmm. Time to wake up. Please. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Get to the point. Too many story. Got weapons. Fuck. Killing us. I want to see actual game performance in Thank combat. You. Nope. Thanks. <gasps> Better. Hey. Not that. <laughs> I guess I didn't really pick a good game to test. And I'm young. Five. Mm -hmm. So you did. Yeah. Well. Fine. Stop. What is? Let's skip. <laughs> I mean, so far it seems to run pretty well. Other than some of these obvious lags. <laughs> Finally, shit. You up? Let us fight Guels. Take dog. Trace? Yennef. Was she <laughs> true to life? I wonder. Indeed. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can access the community and stuff. It. Take screenshots. And oh, that train didn't. O M G. Let's go. Wait. Didn't know. Stop. We're good. Um, what's this book? Mm. Back on. Wait. Where is my... Oh, I had it out already. Clear the press chip. It's fine. <laughs> I guess shift is not the, the uh, dodge button. Or whatever it is. I, I don't know. Um, I honestly feel like the graphics are muddy and kind of look like shit. Like, I'm, I'm not sure what setting I messed with to make it look like this, but this does not look good. But also, I'm. I'm used to playing with Vons.
There's got to be a... I don't know. It, 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 it would blame on my internet connection, I'm sure. But there's got to be a way to get a higher quality Every stream. Every about this sorcerer I knew, I couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Come on, this man. Hit the double shift, the triple shift. War is not exactly go. going our way. We have a side. The northern realms. Why did my Radovitz why did Rose just run out of stamina like instantly? Radovitz pledged to restore the old. I guess I, I didn't hold the shift key hard enough or something. That. Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. God's provided you. You're oh. Could always use a few. Thing is, here. Like I said, you seek some. Not a bad. Spotty connection. Fuck you, Comcast. <sighs> so frustrating. Pay a million dollars per month for internet and and you still get shit quality. Oh, you can't. Ah, uh, well, of course, I don't have a 4K monitor. 15 gigs per hour. Yeah, so that's another thing. If you have a, a data cap, then you're kind of, I mean, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, it all, you know, it all... Um, boils down to your internet quality at the end in the beginning um, not really impressed with the fact that you have to own the games like I mean if, I understand if you're paying five dollars a month that you know it's still like nothing compared to what you should be playing I think this is probably a good solution for, like, stupid games that you don't want to waste your own hard drive space on. I mean, if you can afford the internet to use this properly, then you can probably afford to throw away $5 a month. Uh, what's a game I have that has RT RTX? Does this have it? What?! Oh, right, because Square Enix pulled their games. Douchebags. Um, and Blizzard, Activision, yeah. And also, that that's another thing, is, like, every developer, publisher, pulled their games from Dreamforce now already. I don't know, I, I really don't know why. Um, the only reason it, that it could be is profiteering bullshit, like, you know, for for whatever convoluted imaginary reason, they think they're somehow going to make more money if they don't let people stream games that they already paid for and own. Like, I don't know. It, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. It really doesn't.
I don't own that game. And I would still have to pay for it to use that. Do I really own any games that I can't run on my own computer at Ultra? Oh, wait, no. Konami. Well, Konami is fucking garbage anyway. But, I mean, it's not surprising they don't have their games on here. I don't know. I guess it seems cool. But that's GeForce now. 